Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Quality. Asparagus, which grows in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 4 through 9, is at its best when the tips are tightly closed and the spears are about the size of your finger. Although eating these overgrown spears won't harm you, they won't taste as good as fresh asparagus. Make your mark, take our lead. Harvest and storage. Once asparagus plants are strong enough to be harvested, cut all new shoots in spring when they are about 8 inches tall, snapping them off at the soil line. Many seasoned gardeners use a knife to cut below the soil line, but it is important to avoid cutting into emerging spears nearby. Take our lead. Asparagus also needs space, about 4 to 5 feet for each plant. They won't spread out much the first couple of years, but once established they will quickly fill in. Unlike many plants, the roots of asparagus crowns can withstand some air exposure, and you will usually find them for sale loose. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Once you have cut the asparagus back, add several inches 10 centimeters, of mulch to your asparagus bed. This will help to smother the weeds in the bed and will help fertilize the bed for next year. Compost or well-rotted manure makes an excellent mulch for asparagus in autumn. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Like the rhubarb, the part of the asparagus plant that we love, the young stems, are perfectly safe to eat. But the asparagus hides a deceptive, nasty secret, its fruit, which are bright red berries, are toxic to humans. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.